So we have Griffith's quantum mechanics, problem 5.26. Um, we're going to be using the method of Lagrange multipliers to find the rectangle of largest area with sides parallel to the axes that can be inscribed in the ellipse x over a quantity squared plus y over b quantity squared equals 1. What is the maximum area? So um, I'm going to try and use the same way uh, Griffiths uh, writes this in the book. Um, the function that we want to maximize is the area. All right, so let's draw a picture real quick. Um, here we have y, here we have x, and have some sort of ellipse like this, okay? Um, right. Drawing a rectangle in here. Uh, this is the point x and y. Okay. All right. And this ellipse here is x over a squared plus y over b squared equals one. All right. So. We want to maximize the area of this, all right? And um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to maximize x multiplied by y. What is that? That is the area of this quadrant of the rectangle, all right? Because of symmetry, right, all of these four quadrants their quadrants so they each have the same area and um, and so to maximize the area of the whole thing we can maximize the area of one quadrant all right so the function I'm going to maximize is this product XY all right okay so now what we need is the constraint but we need to write it in a special way so we'll write the constraint like this, and um, it needs to uh, be equal to zero. So all we do is just subtract one from each side. So x over a, y over a, oh, b, now we'll subtract one, okay, equals zero, like this, all right? Okay, so now we at uh, big G, all right, and that's equal to F plus uh, lambda, which is our Lagrange multiplier, F1, okay, and we, we only have one constraint, so this is where we, where we stop, okay, which is equal to XY plus lambda of X over A squared plus y over b squared minus 1 like this okay so here's our g now we're going to set all the derivatives or partial derivatives of g to 0 so we have a d g um, let's do x equal to 0 with respect to y equal to 0 and also with respect to lambda. So we'll get three equations which we will then solve. Okay, so um, so uh, let's go ahead and take this uh, partial derivative and I'll just put that right over here. All right, so when we take this the derivative of this part, we have a y uh, plus we'll have uh, lambda multiplied by uh, 2x over a squared. Okay. Looking at this one, we're, we're taking the derivative with respect to y now. So we have an x from this term plus lambda, and then we, this time we have a 2y over b squared. All right. 
And then this one just gives us the constraint which we already had, right? We take the derivative with respect to lambda, we just get our constraint, which is x over a squared plus y over b squared minus 1 is equal to 0. Right? We just get this term in here. OK. So let's see if we can work these out. Um, I'll probably stumble around a little bit with this. but um, So x equals minus lambda 2 lambda y. Right? I'm looking at this equation, and I'm setting it equal to 0. So I just subtracted this from both sides. right? Uh, so x equals minus 2 lambda y over b squared. Okay. Now looking at this one, we have y equals minus 2 lambda x over a squared. All right, let's just plug one of these guys in. See what happens. Minus 2 lambda over b squared. Now we plug this in, we get minus 2 lambda over a squared, and then an x. Right. So we'll be solving this for lambda, and uh, what we can do is divide x out. And let me just write this. Oh, yeah, let's just write it over here. So we have. This gives us a 4 over a squared b squared uh, multiplied by lambda squared a, and that's equal to 1. All right, so lambda uh, equals you know plus or minus. Taking the square root, so we have um, a squared b squared over four under a square root. Okay, a b over two. Okay, so um, we'll just pick whichever one of these gives us a positive x or a positive y. Um, so let's look at x real quick. We have x is equal to minus, I'm just going to write 2. Um, actually, yeah, whatever. We'll just write this. So minus 2 um, over b squared. Now I'll plug in lambda. So I'm going to go take the minus of this one to cancel this minus sign right here, okay? A, B, well, I'll just make that a plus. All right, because I took this minus sign and this minus sign, that gives us the plus. So, when the twos will divide out, and one of these Bs, so we have an A, B, Y. Okay, so, uh, if what this equation tells us, x is equal to this, right? We can say this now. bx equals a y. All right, now let's look at our, uh, our constraint and, um, and uh, use that to solve this. So, hmm, let's solve for x first, why not? So from this, we know that y um, is equal to uh, b over a multiplied by x. All right, so we have an x squared over a squared. I'm looking at the constraint now, right? Uh, plus a y squared over b squared, but um, y squared is equal to b squared x squared over a squared, okay? And this is equal to one, right? So looking back at our constraint, this is all we this is all we put that into. We just took this y, put it in there, um, and then I, the way I wrote it, I just put the one. I just added both sides to 
uh, by one. Okay, so that's going to divide out, and we have two x squared over a squared is equal to one. All right, so x over a is equal to one half under a square root. So um, this gives us x is equal to a over the square root of 2. All right. And now, whoa, everything's going everywhere. Now let's look at this equation right here, OK, to solve for y. Um, I'll just write this up here so we can write our results down here. So plugging in this x, we have, so here's this b from right here. And then we have an a over square root of 2 equals a y, right? The, y, the a's divide out, and we have y is equal to b over square root of 2. So y equals b over square root of 2. All right, so now we found our um, <coughs> the, the x and y, right? So now let's find our area. The maximum area of a rectangle which can be inscribed in an ellipse with this equation right here. All right, so we just found x and y. That's what we, what we just found. All right, which multiplied together, x, y, gives us 1 quarter of the whole area of this rectangle. So to get the full area of the rectangle, it's just a 4 multiplied by x, y. Okay. And multiplying these together, the twos will come and we'll have a, a, a power that we'll have, we'll be dividing by two. So we have four divided by two. And then we'll just have an AB on the top. Okay, so we have a two AB, all right? So this is the maximum area of, of a rectangle inscribed in an ellipse with this general equation for an ellipse. 2 multiplied by a multiplied by b is that maximum. Area.